The Bering Sea is a marginal sea of the Pacific Ocean. It comprises a deep water basin, which then rises through a narrow slope into the shallower water above the continental shelves. The Bering Sea is separated from the Gulf of Alaska by the Alaska Peninsula. It covers over 2 million square kilometers and is bordered on the east and northeast by Alaska, on the west by Russian Far East and Kamchatka Peninsula, on the south by the Alaska Peninsula and the Aleutian Islands and on the far north by the Bering Strait, which connects the Bering Sea to the Arctic Ocean's Chukchi Sea. Bristol Bay is the portion of the Bering Sea which separates the Alaska Peninsula from mainland Alaska. The Bering Sea is named for Vitus Bering, a Danish navigator in Russian service, who in 1728 was the first European to systematically explore it, sailing from the Pacific Ocean northward to the Arctic Ocean. The Bering Sea ecosystem includes resources within the jurisdiction of the United States and Russia, as well as international waters in the middle of the sea. The interaction between currents, sea ice, and weather makes for a vigorous and productive ecosystem. History Most scientists believe that during the most recent ice age, sea level was low enough to allow humans and other animals to migrate on foot from Asia to North America across what is now the Bering Strait. This is commonly referred to as the Bering Land Bridge and is believed by some, though not all, to be the first point of entry of humans into the Americas. There is a small portion of the killer plate in the Bering Sea. The Cooler Plate is an ancient tectonic plate that used to subduct under Alaska during the Triassic period. Geography Extend the International Hydrographic Organization defines the limits of the Bering Sea as follows. On the north, the southern limit of the Chukchi Sea, sick the Arctic Circle between Siberia and Alaska. On the south, a line running from Kabush Point in the Alaskan Peninsula through the Aleutian Islands to the south extremes of the Komandorsky Islands and onto Cape Kamchatka in such a way that all the narrow waters between Alaska and Kamchatka are included in the Bering Sea. Islands Islands of the Bering Sea include Pribilof Islands, including Street, Paul Island, Komandorsky Islands, including Bering Island, St. Lawrence Island, Diomed Islands, King Island, St. Matthew Island, Karajinsky Island, Nunivak Island, Sledge Island, Hagemeister Island. Regions Regions of the Bering Sea include, Bering Strait, Bristol Bay, Gulf of Anadir, Norton Sound. The Bering Sea contains 16 submarine canyons including the largest submarine canyon in the world, Jemchug Canyon. Ecosystem The Bering Sea Shelf Break is the dominant driver of primary productivity in the Bering Sea. This zone, where the shallower continental shelf drops off into the North Aleutians Basin, is also known as the Green Belt. Nutrient upwelling from the cold waters of the Aleutian Basin flowing up the slope and mixing with shallower waters of the shelf provides for constant production of phytoplankton. The second driver of productivity in the Bering Sea is seasonal sea ice that, in part, triggers the spring phytoplankton bloom. Seasonal melting of sea ice causes an influx of lower salinity water into the middle and other shelf areas, causing stratification and hydrographic effects which influence productivity. In addition to the hydrographic and productivity influence of melting sea ice, the ice itself also provides an attachment substrate for the growth of algae as well as interstitial ice algae. Some evidence suggests that great changes to the Bering Sea ecosystem have already occurred. Warm water conditions in the summer of 1997 resulted in a massive bloom of low-energy coccolithophorid phytoplankton, a long record of carbon isotopes, which is reflective of primary production trends of the Bering Sea, exists from historical samples of bowhead whale baleen. Trends in carbon isotope ratios in whale baleen samples suggest that a 30 to 40 percent decline in average seasonal primary productivity has occurred over the last 50 years. The implication is that the carrying capacity of the Bering Sea is much lower now than it has been in the past. Biodiversity 
The sea supports many endangered whale species including bowhead whale, blue whale, fin whale, sei whale, humpback whale, sperm whale and the rarest in the world, the North Pacific right whale. Other marine mammals include walrus, stellar sea lion, northern fur seal, beluga, orca and polar bear. The Bering Sea is very important to the seabirds of the world. Over 30 species of seabirds and approximately 20 million individuals breed in the Bering Sea region. Seabird species include tufted puffins, the endangered short-tailed albatross, spectacled ida, and red-legged kittiwakes. Many of these species are unique to the area, which provides highly productive foraging habitat particularly along the shelf edge and in other nutrient-rich upwelling regions, such as the Pribilof, Zemchug, and Pavinets canyons. The Bering Sea is also home to colonies of crested auklets, with upwards of a million individuals. Two Bering Sea species, the Stellar sea cow and spectacled cormorant, are extinct because of over-exploitation by man. In addition, a small subspecies of Canada goose, the Bering Canada goose is extinct due to overhunting and introduction of rats to their breeding islands. The Bering Sea supports many species of fish. Some species of fish support large and valuable commercial fisheries. Commercial fish species include six species of Pacific salmon, Alaska pollock, red king crab, chenisites, Pacific cod, Pacific halibut, yellow fin sole, Pacific ocean perch and sable fish. Fish biodiversity is high, and at least 419 species of fish have been reported from the Bering Sea. Fisheries the Bering Sea is world-renowned for its enormously productive and profitable fisheries, such as king crab, opelio and tana crabs, bristol bay salmon, pollock and other ground fish. These fisheries rely on the productivity of the Bering Sea via a complicated and little understood food web. The continued existence of these fisheries requires an intact, healthy, and productive ecosystem. Commercial fishing is big business in the Bering Sea, which is relied upon by the largest seafood companies in the world to produce fish and shellfish. On the U.S. side, commercial fisheries catch approximately $1 billion worth of seafood annually, while Russian Bering Sea fisheries are worth approximately $600 million annually. The Bering Sea also serves as the central location of the Alaskan king crab and opelio crab seasons, which are chronicled on the Discovery Channel television program Deadliest Catch. Landings from Alaskan waters represent half the U.S. catch of fish and shellfish. Change Because of the changes going on in the Arctic, future evolution of the Bering Sea climate ecosystem is uncertain. Between 1979 and 2012 the region experienced small growth in sea ice extent, standing in contrast to the substantial loss of summer sea ice in the Arctic Ocean to the north.